Well, hello there. What's cool? What's groovy? What's happening? Nice to see you on my channel. It's time for life. Welcome. Um, for this next video you're about to watch, yeah. Not because it's bad or anything, okay? Reel back your kids, bring back your kids, bring back your aunties and uncles, bring back your granddad, your grandma. Let everybody come back and watch this video because I might even save a life with this video. You heard me. I might even say, oh, no, no, that's okay. I might even save your money with this video in fact i will most definitely save your time with this video because after watching this video you will never make the same mistakes that i did in this video i am telling you what you are about to witness it is one of a kind it is interesting i want to just share so that you don't make the same mistakes okay i'm trying to help a sister out i'm trying to help a brother out what i'm gonna need you to do is subscribe to my channel it's time for life okay like this video hit bum stump and zonto on that like button but most importantly hit the notification button wherever it is i think it's here or is it there you'll know join the notification squad so you never ever 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 miss new videos and new uploads i'll be posting new videos every week so make sure you are notified without further ado let's hit this video hey what's cool what's groovy what's happening welcome to my channel it's time for life so today i'm gonna make a diy black head and white head charcoal removal mask no i said that wrong let's rewind that back so today i'm gonna make a black head and white head removal mask with charcoal and not with glue like loads of the tutorials are with glue this one is gonna have gelatin which is not vegan but I've seen vegan gelatin somewhere, so I guess that would work as well. I'm just gonna gauge this till I get something that's gloopy and looks like it's gonna do the magic. As you can see from my face, which is like super shiny and oily, this is the end of the day. So I'm just gonna wash all this off and I'm gonna show y'all how I mix this together. Well, let me show you how I mix it anyway. So I've got here milk and I drink almond milk. So that's what I've got in this cup. Two, but one and a half tablespoon. And then I'm gonna add some gelatin that's in a pack this is it's just for like baking and stuff like that right so I'm just gonna add some of that to it now this stuff oh I don't know this has been open for a while so I don't know <laughs> it has kind of lost its scent but I'm just gonna pour a bit of that in I am NOT gonna measure this at all and then I got some charcoal from Holland and Barrett, which is actually on sale. So the charcoal comes in a tablet form like that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna snap it open. It's not actually that easy, as they show on YouTube. It's pull and twist, right? I can see the stuff coming out. This is what we are working with. I'm gonna mix that all up. I'm curious, man. Okay, so usually gelatin smells like farm. It smells really weird actually it smells horrible obviously because it's made out of animal product it's kind of very thick so i don't know if that's a good thing probably not but it's like a paste anyway i'm gonna wash my face and i'm gonna put that on however it turned out i'm pretty sure it'll do the trick all i need to do is let it dry and i'm pretty sure that whatever is dry if you peel it off so I'll be back. I washed my face with warm water so that the pores would open. And I used a face towel to just kind of go over my face again and make sure everything is gone. I don't know what my face is doing, y'all. I don't know what my face is doing. Goodness me, but the ice cream be so good though. So what I will do is I'll just put this on my face, hot steam my face, make sure all the pores are open. And I'm just going to go ahead. The mixture you now after washing my face and all that kind of huh? I don't know what this thing is doing okay so now it's like this I'm gonna add some hot water and just mix it up because it has to be more like a paste that you can kind of brush on so I'll do that and I'll come back to you okay so now I've just gone ahead and mixed it with a bit of water it has more like a gloopier more runnier um, texture 
And I think that's more consistent with like the ones that have glue. Here we go. Okay, I know what you're thinking. I thought you were just gonna do your nose. Did I mention that? Yeah, I was just gonna do my nose because I've never put charcoal on my body anywhere and I didn't know if I was gonna have an allergic reaction. So I thought, let me just put it on my nose so that if I have an allergic reaction, at least only my nose will look crazy and not the rest of my face. But then I realized that I made a lot of this stuff. So now I was like, oh, I might as well put it all over my face. So here we are. So, it is extremely runny. <laughs> It's trying to go into my mouth and everything. Anyway, I feel like it's so runny that I had to keep on reapplying because every time I applied, it would like run off my face, kind of become dry, and then I'd have to reapply again. So I was just putting on, putting on, putting on, and it was kind of sliding off my face. But I can feel it drying, so it's doing something. It'll just take a while, I think. I hope it doesn't slide off so much so that, oh my God. Anyway. I hope it doesn't become so bad that there's nothing left on my face because I can see it trying to drippity drop here as well. It's not my clothes. Right, yeah. Anyway, so what I thought of is, you know how they say don't put it on anywhere where there's hair? So like your eyebrows and stuff. So I've been doing this so that even if it's drippity dropping onto my eyebrows, it doesn't actually stay there because I do not want to be peeling off any hairs. I already have trouble, <laughs> you know, having visible brows as it is. So. Anyway, I'm gonna like sit in front of a window or something. I would if oh, I can really feel it doing things now because it's becoming hard to talk, but that's also because some of the stuff is in between my lips, which is just great. Anyway, I would have used a blow dryer on the cool setting to dry it because of the way it's drippity dropping, but I don't have one anymore because I gave mine away. So I'm gonna sit in front of the window and hope that the beautiful air and wind, the natural wind that God has provided us, will dry this face so i will see you soon and then oh my goodness i can like you can feel it like dropping down <laughs> i have to master a better recipe but if this does work the drippity drop effect is not as bad you know all you need to do is find a way to dry your face quickly so if you do have a hair dryer that would be kind of awesome and it speeds up the process as well because anybody got time to wait anyway so I will be back. Okay, so I don't think this is normal. It has been over an hour. Okay, I can't speak. Uh, I don't think this is normal. It has been over an hour. And I have been hand finding myself for the last 20 minutes to let this dry. And as you can see here, it's, well, it's getting dry now. Here it was still kind of wet. But it's kind of drying up now, which is good. I've just been sitting here. Literally started putting a movie on because it was becoming ridiculous. This thing did not want to dry. So now, it is dry and I felt it. We don't want that. We want it to stick to the skin. So anyway, I'm just going to go ahead. what it all looks like I just want to get this off right now this is incredible I should concentrate on getting like a whole flap like this and then just slowly so I think I have some here here so that's gonna be painful okay it's actually very painful I'm just gonna peel the skin back like so so that it's not as abrasive Ooh, that was painful but it hardly did anything all the white stuff you see there are holes because basically it was kind of see-through because the consistency of the mixture wasn't all that great oh my goodness I'm almost there it's the nose I I can't wait to see oh I'm treading this part so badly I think I'm just removing hairs right now If I had a mustache, it will all be gone by now. This is legit painful. Mm. <sighs> you see my eyes?
think I'm gonna continue doing this and I'll come back this is all white because the stuff was on there as well but it's it's a lot smoother is it worth it no absolutely not not the way I did it having to wait for more than an hour I've been at this for about one and a half hours right now which is a bit much it's a bit too much is it worth it totally it is totally worth it it's so good it makes your skin feel so good and hydrated and just amazing you should try it because like all the youtubers are doing it including me it's like so easy and afterwards you just kind of wipe your face and you're done and then you have a face beat like this like a natural face beat though I just got a few really good pieces here and I'm like super duper amazing anyway so I'll show you them what a mess it's on my chair it's on the floor it's everywhere all over my sink oh my goodness okay so I just had shower and this is what the skin looks like you can tell like a lot of pores are just they are so open and wow look at that and I think it's just the ripping off it just opens everything I feel like the face is so open boom bam so stay tuned this is my skin for now I need to start eating healthy so that it clears up completely but I know that it will and it can so that's it I really like the result though it feels smooth just need to change the texture a little bit next time when I'm mixing but I'll work on that and I'll do an update updated video let you know how it goes if you're not already subscribed to this channel I suggest you do so now I suggest you hit bump stomp azonto on that subscribe button and click the like button if you like this video and found it helpful you will find my other previous videos here about I will leave them somewhere there and that's it make time for life y'all it's time to start living it right mm. okay nope it didn't actually do it a trick I used this I don't know what you call it. It's by Tweezer Man, actually. The same guys that have the tweezers. It's this pimple popping extractor thingy thing that I got at a shop called Douglas in the Netherlands, but I don't know where they have it elsewhere. And so basically, I go over my nose like this. And I even do upward and I do sideways, whatever way. And the amount of gunk that came out. I was like, I just wasted my time. Like the charcoal mask did do something, but I can get this result even by just making a DIY face mask like my other face masks that I will put in the information thingy somewhere here. But yeah, the one that I made with um, sodium of bicarbonate, that one works wonders. So I'm trying to see if this thing is worth it fact of the matter is I still don't know but anyway I'll get back to you okay bye <laughs> I hope you liked that video if you did please give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you in my next video make sure to subscribe like I said before it's time for life go get your life and whatever you do make time for glorious life see you in my next video god bless mm -hmm.